watching, don't forget to like and subscribe. Hello there. Hotel Transylvania. Hotel Transformania. No. Hotel Transylvania Transformania. There we go. Ugh. Yeah. Is I guess the fourth movie? Um, and it is what you expect. It's not good, but at the same time, it does bring laughs. Um, after like the second one, the third one, very, like especially with Van Helsing, I kind of threw out the whole thing. The whole thing just was ridiculous. It made fun of itself over and over again. It realized how stupid of a concept it was that it didn't try to take itself seriously at all. The, at least in the first one, they did. The second one, they got rid of that. The third one, they just outright ignored anything. They just didn't care. So after the third one, I was going into this just like, you know what, I wanna get some laughs. I wanna see just uh, the family dynamic. Just have fun with it. And I got exactly what I wanted. So it's a good movie in the sense that it'll give you laughs. It's just dumb humor. It's not childish at the same like some movies it, it's just like there there's a part where it's a, a dracula is fighting with mosquitoes i found that hilarious because i've caught myself doing that those those savage beasts yeah you you slap them you destroy them heck also that one scene where he's there's a scene where he's walking around and then he stubs his toe and i'm like okay now that that hurt for me to see uh yeah just all the little things. It was all the little things that got me to smile. So this story basically is Dracula wants to retire and he wants to leave the hotel to Mavis. However, leaving the hotel to Mavis ends up, ends up leaving it to Johnny. And when he realized that, he reneged on his, uh, you know, and told Johnny that he can't give it to a human. It has to be given to a monster. It's in the, the real estate laws. So. Johnny goes to Van Helsing and gets transformed into a monster. However, it's uh, just chaotic and the longer you stay as the monster, the more and more you become just a mindless monster. So he needs to be saved. They need to get a, a yeah, a, just everything. It, it tumbles from there. It has humorous moments. Yeah, the, the, one of the funniest moments for me was when Drac was trying to hide from both Mavis and Erica, because <laughs> it's just like trying to hide from your daughter and uh, your your I guess their bride, his bride, and his wife. It's just like that. That's that's got to be a scary thing to be between those two as they're hunting him down. Uh, it was just it was the little things. It was the little things that got me to laugh. Yeah, because it, I chalked the entire story as soon as it started because I'm like, uh, after three, doesn't matter. Anything they show does not matter to me. Yeah, it, it was. It's, just, it's the little things that really count. It's the, really just the little nuances that they add that made it, made put a smile to my face. It made me enjoy it just a tiny bit. I know it's not well received, but uh, after the first one, they shouldn't be well received because, or they shouldn't be seen as good stories. They should just be seen as uh, fun family dynamics. That's the way I see it. The family dynamics, meeting in-laws, the all that little stuff. I prefer that. Becoming a, a stepmother or trying to find a mother for your really old daughter. Just the, all the little dynamics that they introduced. Yeah, it, including bringing in your stepson as you're into the family, finally accepting him. That's what this one was basically about. Even though they've kind of gone over that every single time. But yeah, I, I do enjoy it. I, I probably don't know if I'll see it again, but I did enjoy it. I will say that. Thank you all for watching. Talk to you next time. Doodles.